Good morning, friends. Today we'll cover chapter two. In this chapter, we will do all the necessary software installations required for this tutorial series on Apache Spark, and we will also do uh, our IntelliJ project setup. So let's first of all uh, start installing Java JDK. We are using JDK 11. Scala because Scala is required for Apache Spark. Uh, Apache Spark itself is written in Scala language, and then Maven and IntelliJ. So let's start with JDK 11 download. So just go to uh, Google search and just type JDK 11 download and then just scroll down to JDK 11 releases. So once you go to uh, click on this link, you'll go to JDK 11 releases and then click on this open JDK archive. So this will return uh, to all those like previous JDK versions. So because for this project, uh, we are going to use JDK 11. So just scroll down to 11th version. Uh, so it's down here. Okay, so I've scrolled on enough. And uh, here you will see 11.0.build. And then uh, I'm using Windows. So I'll just click on this zip. When you click on this zip, the zip object, the whole JDK 11 bundle would be downloaded in your local disk. Just extract, extract this uh, zip file and then uh, the JDK 11 would be there and the installation steps are very simple. You just can follow it. So once JDK 11 has been installed and downloaded in your system, just verify it by opening a command prompt and just type uh, Java minus version. So it should be showing you Java version as 11.0.11. So it can be your uh, whatever version that you have downloaded. Similarly, you can also do Java C minus version. Java C is for Java compiler. So this is also should be Java 11. After Java has been successfully installed in the system, just also set uh, the Java home system variable as well. So for that, you just edit the system variables here by clicking on environment variables and then create a variable here, something as Java home and give the complete location of your JTK directory where you have extracted your JTK 11. So it's just like this that you have to create a variable name as Java underscore home and the variable value should be the whole JDK directory. So once this Java home variable is set, after that, you can also add it into the path. So in the path, you just scroll down. It would be a path variable here. Edit it and then add percent Java underscore home percent slash bin, which means that we can, we can uh, run Java from anywhere in the system once we include this in the path. Okay, so this was all about uh, JDK installation. Now let's switch to Scala installation. Again, go to uh, Yahoo search or Google search page and type Scala installation. And whatever is like first with the Scala lang.auto download, just click on it and it will show up all this, uh, all the, uh, to this, to this page. So we are using Windows here. So in Windows, just scroll down and we will be using 2.13.10 version. We will not using the Scala 3 version uh, because 2.3 is compatible with the latest Spark 3.3.1 uh, that we'll be installing later. So that is only com compatible with this release. So just click on this 2.1.3.10. So it will open to this page again. And again, you have to just scroll down for your for Windows and click on this button. So by downloading the Scala binaries for Windows, it will actually download a MSI file, which you can just double click and uh, just follow the installation process. It's very straightforward. And uh, once that Scala is installed, we can verify it that uh, by uh, typing some Scala commands. So I've already installed Scala on my system, the same version 2.13.10. Let's verify it. So I'm again on the command prompt and I will just talk type Scala minus version. So it's showing me the Scala code runner version 2.13.10, which means that our Scala is uh, installed properly. Again, uh, while, while we are installing this uh, Scala, it automatically sets the system path, which we can verify again. We can just go to edit uh, the system variables and it will launch here. And if I check my path variable in the system variables, just go on edit. And I will see that this program file Scala bin is already there in the path, which means that while uh, when I was installing uh, that MSI file, 
uh, it already included the scalar uh, in my path. So this is all about scalar installation. Now let's switch on to the Maven installation. For Maven installation, again, open the Google search page or Yahoo search page and type Maven download. Once you, uh, then you will have this search result and then just go to mavenapache.org.download and click on it. So it will open this Maven uh, downloading Apache Maven. So with, we will be using 3.8.7 version. Just go down and uh, we are using Windows again. So I think the easiest way to do is by downloading this zip file, which is Apache Maven.bin.zip. So just after clicking this, just extract this and follow the instruction process. It's again very straightforward. And then Maven would be installed in the system. Now once Maven is installed, let's set up uh, the uh, environment variables first. So there would be two uh, environment variables that we have to set. So the first one is m2 underscore home and another one is Maven underscore home. So I have already set these two variables here. So m2 underscore home, uh, for example, this one, just extract it, uh, just point it to the variable value wherever you have uh, extracted this Apache Maven uh, 3.8.7. So for me, it was 3.8.1. It's fine. Uh, we can use 8.1 also. So just set this variable m2 underscore home like this. And after this, we also need to set Maven underscore home, which is just the same variable as m2 underscore home. And once these two variables are uh, created, then also you need to add it in the path variable. So in the path variable, you just, I already said it here, so percent Maven home, percent bin, and here it is already stored here. Once the path variable is set here, now let's verify the Maven installation by running it in the command prompt. So I will again head towards command prompt and I will type mvn minus v and it should give me the, the Maven version. So this is fine. It's showing me that Apache Maven 3.8.1 has already been installed. So once this is done, this is all about Maven installation. Now finally, let's install IntelliJ. Again, open a Google search uh, or Yahoo search and type IntelliJ download and just download this JetBrains site, download IntelliJ. Once you click on this, it will show up with this page with a different operating system as we are using Windows. So IntelliJ comes in like two flavors. One is Ultimate Edition, which is paid version, which comes up with a free 30 day trial uh, uh, trial version. After that, uh, if you want to continue it, uh, then you have to pay for it, pay for the license. Uh, but for this course, we don't need Ultimate Edition. We can just go with the free edition, which is Community Edition. So there you can just download it, download the XE and then extract it. It's very straightforward and uh, IntelliJ would be installed in your system. So this was all about installation about the basic uh, JDK, Java 11, uh, Scala, Maven, and IntelliJ. So in the next video, we will install Apache Spark and Hadoop in the system. So see you all in the next video.